Uh, am I drinking somebody's crack fork? Is this supposed to be a spoon? <laughs> Hey y'all and welcome back again. This is part three, the final part of the backyard renovation series, which is how I made this lovely day bed. Um, basically the story behind why I made the day bed was because I was looking at them online and they were hella expensive. Um, the ones that I liked were like a thousand dollars plus and I wasn't, I wasn't finna pay that. So I was just like, I mean, I feel like it's just two by fours and screws. I can do that. And I was right. What, did I run into some issues? absolutely but did i get it done also yes so um just stay tuned and watch me and I, with the help of my friend jasmine and my mom of course watch us um because i couldn't have done it by myself watch us you know build and get this day bed together so that i could you know have a nice furnished back porch lounge area and of course don't forget to like comment and subscribe share this video all that good stuff i'll see you guys at the end all right so let's see i am so there's a, a day bed that i want to make and let's see i kind of i saw raven elise i believe she put like painters tape down with the dimensions to see um, like the size like if it's gonna fit right in the space so I have my printed off instructions that I got and it's supposed to be 78 inches wide and 42 inches deep so I'm just gonna measure mark and tape to see how it's gonna look um, like if it's gonna run into the stairs or if it's like not gonna be too much space or enough space I guess and go from there This is a rough estimate because that one over there looks slanted, but I do have this one going to that one. So I think this line is pretty straight. Um, so it's not bad. I wouldn't really be able to have a table in front, like right here. Um, but I do have enough for like maybe a little side table and I do want like the little u shape ones. Ooh. Juice, that like slide under it to have like a tray um so i could probably have one on this side and then maybe a cute little table on that side um or i could just have because i know i want an egg chair over here like once the railings go back up i want an egg chair here with maybe a little table um but since this is like a whole day bed maybe i'll just get like the cute wooden trays to like eat off of as well with so like have the tray in the middle um like to just sit on there like i guess when i'm out here and then have like the side maybe a little side table over here or the little um 
I guess technically they're U-shaped, but they're standing U-shaped, like slide under the couch tables. I don't know if that makes sense, but so this is about how big it should be. Um, so I think that'll be plenty of space. I do think once I put the railings on, I might be able to fit like a little table or maybe I can find something that um, I can just slide like to the side or something for regular traffic. And then I can just like move it to the front like when I wanna just sit out here and chill and I'm not necessarily going back and forth. I don't know, but this looks like a good size. I'm glad I finally got out here and did this. Um, so yeah, I was supposed to scrape some more wood off but we're not worried about that so this is what we're looking like number one <laughs> welcome to the please, wonderful world please read all directions before beginning all right all mm -hmm. the and cut your pieces as you go measuring before each cut use two and a half inch screws yes or pocket holes with two and a half inch screws, we have both of those, um, unless otherwise indicated. Always use glue, with glue. Um, free, oh, this shit is good. <laughs> Always use glue, okay. Pre-drill and counter sink your screws. You got the phone out here? Who the fuck the counter sink me? The drill piece out of the no. drill. We have to loosen the black thing. Just turn it. The big piece? Yeah, the whole big black nose. Oh. Okay, that's not working. Let's it's see. not working. I mean, it's what I just did wasn't working. So if I turn this all the way around. Hold like the bottom piece and turn like. Like like the bottom of the neck, hold that and turn the, the other part with the numbers on it. Yeah. Turn, yeah. That's what I did. Oh, you, and that didn't work. I'm. I can't get the piece out. But maybe you gotta turn it some more. It's like you know, loosen, 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 loosen. Is it turning at all? Yeah, I had it turned all the way. And the piece won't come out. No. Well, maybe it's getting tighter. I don't know. Um, I turned it and then that didn't work. So I turned it all the way to the other end. It's like this, the front black piece is still locked. Can, can you face down? Okay, so this piece, okay. it was all the way over here. Right? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me look in the, in the eye of it. No, no, let me look in the, in the eye, in the front. Okay. Okay, turn it with where we turn it. I was going to turn it all the way no, this. No, not that, the top piece. That piece. Okay. Keep turning that piece. This is as far as it'll go. This way? Or this yeah, way? Yeah, hold the, hold, the, hold the back piece. Okay. And turn the front piece. It won't turn anymore this way. So if I turn this way, it doesn't do anything. Turn that way, it doesn't do anything. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Are you, what are you holding? Hold the black where the numbers are. Okay. 
hold that yes. and then turn it and it, it should keep going. It won't turn anymore. Okay, well turn the other way then. It's got to it's got to go one way or the other. I mean, it's going, but this piece isn't coming out. No, it's because it's tight. I can see the things around it holding it. When you when you turn it, I think it's got to go the other way. That piece doesn't make sense. Oh. Let me see. Let me see the side of it. Yeah, oh, okay. The piece where the numbers are. Hold that. Yeah. And hold that. Oh, okay. That. There we go. Okay. And now this. Or do you just do it this way? Probably so. Maybe. But how do you know? Okay, I didn't do shit. <laughs> No, um, I can't figure, we just finished watching a YouTube video because I can't figure out how to do it. Like, it's not making the hole. Oh. Yeah, so I watched the video. The only thing that was different was that he had this, like, uh, I don't even know what this is called, piece on it. Um. So you, you got the hole not yet well I was trying to uh -huh. but um so he put this like whatever thing on there but this is just gonna slide off Maybe I'm doing it the wrong way. Maybe I had it on reverse. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm see. Gross. Shut up. Yes. Yeah, there we go. That's Yay. what they're supposed to look like.
come from? Yeah. Did the did the Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask you. Is that like a drug paraphernalia thing? I don't know. I'm assuming the um lawnmower messed it up. Cause it was out in the yard. Oh, I don't think the lawnmower lawnmower didn't bend it like that. Oh. Ah! Am I touching somebody's crack fork? Is this supposed to be a spoon? <laughs> Me either. <laughs> Are we missing a piece? We just have 10 slats, right? Well, how many you supposed to have? Yeah, 10, 10, 39 inch, inch slats. So you this one, right? Two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Behind you? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. But I could have sworn I counted them before and they were it. They were the same. One piece right here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So where the heck did my last piece of wood go? Am I tripping? are reaching the home stretch on this day bed um, I got some two inch screws because the ones that are coming out are two and a half inch so what I'm gonna do is take these out one at a time and put this in so that hopefully it doesn't come through and then I'm just gonna go through and putty these holes um, so that I can um, sand it and stain it so we have about 25 screws to do so I'm going to start on that now. Okay, and so you see how like this is coming off. I'm still going to screw it, but I'm definitely going to putty over all of this. Um, with like wood putty just to make sure that we don't have no issues. So for this one, this one isn't sticking out of the top, so I'm going to just leave that one in there. Okay, so I have two screws that I can't um, get to to like pull them out and redo them. And this tool is not helping cut them, so I'm just going to worry about those later. This is what we have so far. Um, I'm about to cut the mattress, but this is what it looks like, like down. So I have a pretty good amount of space. It's a little tight over here. Since I can't cut these off yet, I'm just gonna have some clay. I'm just gonna put like some clay over it so we don't like scratch ourselves. But this is what the space is looking like. It's a little tight, but oh hell, can you see? It's a little tight, but it works, it works, it works. So I'm gonna cut the mattress and I'm probably gonna sand. I'm not gonna stain today though. 
but yeah. and this is like the machine and this bitch is heavy but what I say I'm gonna do is like cut it mostly and then just manually cut it with a knife the rest of the way like cut as much as I can because I don't want to cut my fucking floor but like the grass outside and stuff is wet so that's not an option um let's see thick metal so I'm gonna use the general purpose one before I start cutting shit. And this is to lock it. This is to, oh no, that's to unlock that. Well, fuck, let's, let's do it then. cut like butter okay all right so what I'm trying to do is stand it up but have the line be in like the doorway so that I can just cut straight through we're gonna see but I think it's gonna work I think it's gonna work. this mattress encasement that I need to put on there um and that's the only thing that's going to be on there for now because I don't have any twin size sheets so yeah what do you first of all it's an encasement so I think I have to like slide it on. Okay. 
Whew. All right. It'll look much better once I get like a sheet to go on it, but. For now, we Gucci. Let's take this bad boy outside. All right, y'all. Mattress is on there. I wonder if I can like. No. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed um, watching it far more than I enjoyed making it. I will say it was a very frustrating process to an extent. If I didn't have the support that I had, I probably would have given up a long time ago and then I would have just been sitting on the concrete because I wouldn't have this nice, long, comfy day bed to enjoy. But luckily my mom and Jasmine helped me and you know, I just, found the motivation somewhere I don't know but I'm grateful and you know if you I'm I'm not very I don't know tool savvy I guess y'all might think so but I don't think so but I learned a lot during the process and I actually want to get more tools because I feel like I can be building some stuff okay maybe I'm very proud of myself for accomplishing this I'm so in love with my backyard my porch everything I hope you enjoyed the series if you have any questions feel free to leave your questions down low in the comments down below in the comments and I will try my best to help you answer those or get those answered for you but again I think that's it be sure to like comment and subscribe share this video all that good jazz and I'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>